I think there are several keys to winning new business. Um, I think uh, it's, it's definitely not just down to luck. I think it's down to a lot of hard work. Um, I think it's the importance of getting the people right, having the right people and the right team, and that chemistry and checking in on that chemistry throughout the process of the pitch. I think it's really easy to know when not to pitch for business, frankly. I think if you're struggling to answer the brief or you're struggling to kind of go, have we got, is this part of our natural skill set? Don't do it. Walk away. So I think, I mean, new business is not a science. I actually think it is um, very straightforward in many ways, but it is made up of two key things, having the right culture and having the right talent within a business. And if I had to choose one of those, I'd say that I'd put culture over talent. Because if you've got the impetus behind uh, the direction you're travelling in and the right attitude, then commitment, enthusiasm and passion goes an awful long way. So I don't think that I would pitch for uh, work if we had uh, too much business existing because I will not jeopardise existing clients under any circumstances. And I think also what's incredibly important is that every agency has a selection criteria for when they'll pitch for new business and it is the same. It is always a variation of fun, fun fame and fortune. But if you haven't got the right cultural fit or the right potential relationship fit with your client, then you are not going to work as an effective partnership. I think the key to winning new business is going for fewer um, pitches that you really, really care about. I think if you can really commit to something, that's better than you know, chasing all over town and trying to pitch for lots and lots of things at the same time. For us, we try to say no to far more pitches than we say yes to, and I think the, the time that we make that decision is uh, when we have the sort of initial chemistry meeting and we find out whether the clients are really on a mission and really want to do something interesting or whether they're being sort of more conservative. And we, we set up to work with people who are on a mission to change the world in some small way, and you, can, you usually have to meet people first to find that out. What do I look for in an agency pitch? Well, I think the most important thing is really understanding our business and understanding when we brief, we try and put a lot of information around our whys and hows and whats and whos. And so the, most, the best pitches are those that have really read and understand that, really investigated and understood our business and our customers and are repeating back to us new things rather than just repeating back to us the brief. One of the most important things for us when we're choosing an agency is cultural fits. Ideas are really great, but if we get the right cultural fit with an agency, the ideas will come from brainstorming sessions as a group, both with the, us as the client and the agency. So cultural fit trumps great idea every single time. For an agency to stand out in pitch, I think they have to demonstrate that they really understand your business, or that they've at least tried to understand your business and, and what's the most important things for you. I think that kind of sets them apart. I think that it's really important to get across cultural fits, um, as well as a great idea, you know, of course, but when the chips are down, you're going to be wanting to be working with people who you know you can rely on and that are partners with you, and that comes from a great cultural fit, I think. So what does an makes an agency stand out in the pitch? Generally, it's a combination of strategic insight and creativity. An agency has to come in, they need to take the brief and add some extra thinking to the brief that, that takes it beyond from where it is. So what's most important for an agency? Um, cultural fit or great creative idea? It has to be a combination, we have to know they can do the idea, but at the end of the day you hire someone on fit, you hire the people in the team, so you hire someone that you know, and effectively it's can you trust them?